Well, that sucks. Glad it wasn't us. Jeez. Ugh. Man, that got them good. Hope they're okay. Dang. Good morning, frugal friends. I've got Lulu with me. There she is. We are going to hit up just a couple of college student housing bins. Um, I don't, I have no like real um, hopes that we'll find anything, but my mom found some stuff last weekend. So yeah, why not? Let's stop and see what we see. Mattresses. Uh, looks like mostly food garbage and stuff. Again, mostly like garbage, garbage. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything too exciting. There are some cinder blocks that the kids use to put like their bed frames and stuff like that on. Uh, but I'm going to leave these for other college kids that might need them because a whole bunch of kids will be moving in, you know, for the fall semester. And hopefully they'll, uh, they'll get some use out of these. I wouldn't mind having them. I could totally use them. But I don't know. We can't take everything. We do need to share. So like I said, I'm not getting my hopes up, but it looks like they have emptied and brought back the big industrial size bin. So, I mean, there's... There's possibilities. There's a table in there. This is all like food, regular food garbage. I'm guessing a lot of the summer kids have moved in. Yeah, this is food garbage. There's maybe some hangers. There's some old shoes. There's a bowl. We've got some good bubble envelopes. We'll take those. Always grab shipping supplies for our eBay business. If you haven't checked out our eBay, the uh, link is always in our video description. 99% of what we sell on there is salvaged from the bins. So supporting the channel the mission, and our many adventures. All right. <sighs> Let me try climbing up here. Oh, wow. I want that tote for sure. And then... <laughs> There's some side tables over there. There's some shelves right here. Those are good shelves. Uh, we're not gonna worry about that door. Any of these doors, there's several doors. But I definitely want those shelves. There's a garbage can, we might take that. But the tote, the garbage can, and the shelves. There's a TV there, but I have no way of knowing if that works. This is gonna be tricky, but I think we can do it. Have to get Lulu to help me. And if I see any strapping young men out and about on their way to church, I might actually, <laughs> you know me, I'm not shy. I might ask them to do a, a work of service and help us. All right, Lulu, I'm gonna need your help. <sighs> Got all this fabulous stuff in here from our retail dive. Hopefully you guys have seen that. <laughs> Lots of good stuff. Well, we're not done with the retail dive yet, but um, but yeah, where these colleges are right here on the way. Yeah, why not? All right. Let's see. I wonder if I should bring a grabber. Probably. Better to have it and not need it. Than to have to run back and, and get it. All right, Lulu, let's do this. Let's try to do this anyway. <sighs> All right. The other glove. Yeah, it's chilly, huh? Well, once we get working, you'll warm right up. I think I can grab this with just my rake. Probably that bin, too. <sighs> yeah, 
Yep. We got it. That's great. That's a nice one. If we can get it. For goodness sake. Oh, sorry, you guys are getting bounced all over the place. But honestly, I don't think you'd be able to see this with the head cam. I bet I could do better on this because that is not very high. And this is. It's just a little trickier. All right, Lulu. I'm going to need you to record. Just stand here and rest it right there, and that should be good. I might have been a little hopeful and unrealistic. These shelves. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Dang it. I got one. Well, I mean, that is cool that I was able to get one, but I've got to be able to get at least one more. Will you go put that in the van, please? Let's think, guys. Let's think. The only way that I'm going to be able to do it is to take the stepladder up and use it to get in. And then, of course, use it to get back out and over. This is gonna be tricky. I really, <laughs> I really want those shelves. So, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I am, but I think we will switch to the head cam. I am devastated, frugal friends. I took the freaking head cam, like action cam, in with me in that freaking industrial dumpster i got in there and i got the shelves and all whatever other stuff i got i brought you in and then i came home to like edit and was like what the heck where is that video it's not there because you know i don't regularly use this it's mine but my husband is the one that uses it the most i very rarely use it and it wasn't there. And so then my husband's like, well, how did you put the thing in the like little memory card? And I had done it wrong. And I didn't know I had done it wrong. And when I pressed record, it was already on my head. So I wasn't able to check and see if it was recording. And you didn't get to go with me into that ginormous industrial bin. And I am pissed off and so frustrated. But you know, your frugal mama got in that freaking ginormous industrial bin and got those shelves out and whatever other stuff I got on or got out. And then I stacked up the little tables and put the stepladder on them and then climbed over and then took the stepladder out and handed it to Lulu. And I was amazing. And you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Well, that sucks. Glad it wasn't us. Jeez. Ugh. Man, that got them good. Hope they're okay. Dang. We're at the student family housing for the university, and we could hear the cops pulling up over at that wreck over there, so it didn't look like anyone was hurt. They all had gotten out. It's just that side, if someone had been sitting there, they would have gotten smushed. Sounds like they've got 
The whole cavalry coming. There's a air mattress in here that I want to try to get. Of course, we have no way of knowing right now if it works, but we have a pump at home. So, might as well. We still have room in the van, especially because I laid all the seats down. So, might as well try, right? Lulu, will you hold this? Make sure they can see what we're doing. I don't want to use the rake any more than I have to. I don't want to risk puncturing it. Ugh. Sorry, Lou. Sorry, frugal friends. Well, it's pretty dirty. Why does it plug in? Um, yeah, we might not even need a pump. No, it's got a fast fill. We might be able to test it right here because we have a plug in the car. Should we just test it here? No? No? Okay. Well, then let's put it in the back of the van. And we're gonna be heading home pretty soon. So if it's kind of smelly, that's not a big deal. All right, will you get the rake and shut that lid and I'll get this into the van. Wow, yeah, they're all coming now. Oh, here they come. Well, that one's the fire, fire department one. And he's not doing sirens anymore. The other ones must be coming the other way. Anywho, they'll get those guys sorted out soon enough. I am glad we got through there and over to here before all the troops <laughs> got here because now it's going to be all jammed up over there while they get that cleaned up. Well, now we know we're not going to go back that way. We will go a different way. And as far as that air mattress, just because it was in the bins, absolutely does not mean it doesn't work. Of course, we'll find out when we get home and test it, but it's a college student housing dumpster. And so when they're leaving, they're, you know, flying home to, what state have I not used yet? Ohio? No, I think I've used Ohio. To Maine, they're flying home to Maine, Stephen King. Um, they're not gonna bring that air mattress on the plane with them. So it ends up in the bin. So there's a very good chance that it works. Let's go find out. Check that out. I got a bag of onions and a tomatillo. We're gonna have to make some salsa. Salsa from the bins. Ooh yeah. And they're onions and they're still perfectly good. So, and they've probably got weeks left in them. Super awesome. This is probably the ninth one we've looked in. We're gonna grab that rug. Uh, the ninth bin here at this student housing that we have looked at. Oh, I want that rug, but I hope it's not terribly stinky. Just, you know, for getting it home. It'll most likely end up out in the, um, well, depending on the condition it's in, but it's probably going to end up out in the garden as weed suppressant, temporary weed suppressant. If it's in really good condition, then no, we'll, you know, we'll clean it up. But anyway, if, I hope it's not super stinky because we got to get it home. I'll get the rake. Let's see if we can get it out without too much trouble. I might need your help in a minute, Lulu. Yeah, Lulu. Olivia. It's a big rug, too. It'll cover a good space. What's that? You record, please. Oh, there's a frame. Oh, man. Shoot. 
Oh, but there's still several good glass in there. We'll take the glass because we can use those in frames that need glass that we have many of, or we can cover that part that's broken. We'll see. Stay tuned, we'll show you what we do if I don't totally break it now. All right. too heavy to get it out. Uh, I'll get the step ladder. Come on you. Alright, hold that little bit. We got it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> All right. Mm. Well, that's a good box, at least, for out in the garden. I kind of want to check those bags. Not this one. It's got, like, just cups and stuff. But the other two might be worth looking at. What in the world? Wow, what a shame. I have no way of knowing if these work or are worth my time. And there's a bed frame. What I will do is, oh, and a whole bunch of diapers. Um, I will let some scrapping friends know. I'll post on some of those pages. And if they want to come and get these, there's like a toaster oven over there and this charbroil thing. If nothing else, you know, they can at least be scrapped. Lulu. I don't know what's in there, but we're going to find out. And we'll move this bag out of the way and see what's in that one there and that one with the Victoria's Secret bag. Let's see what I'm doing here. Oh, it's full of stuff. I don't know what. Something's pretty in it. It's got books, journals, photo albums. Oh, what in the world? Wow. Awards. Yeah, a whole photo album. we got to get this box out. I don't know how we're going to get it out, though. Really nice trophy. Dang it. Really pretty trophy. I don't know. Yeah, this has got a lot of goodies. Um, and there's some frames and a little voice recorder. Oh, we're gonna have. I'm gonna get the step ladder. Lou, <laughs> as I'm getting the tools out, she freaking grabbed the whole thing and pulled it right out. That girl's got muscles for days. Do you want to start going through that? There's a necklace right there with a little bike on it. We could give that to daddy. Let's see. Oh, we're totally doing something with that for daddy. Daddy is a cyclist. And there's a really nice Coke shirt. Oh, this is the, and a little M&M's World bag. I don't know what that is. <sighs> Sparkly pretty stuff. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, I'm going to keep this little necklace up front, though. I don't want to lose it. Okay, well, she's going through this box. I will get over here. Bag. 
some religious materials, high school stuff. What is this? Oh, awesome. Old school voice activated cassette recorder with built in speaker. Are you kidding me? These are like collectible and stuff now. This like old school here, Lulu, like dinosaur tech. Heck yeah. We'll take that. Um, what? Yeah, take it. You can put a new cover on it. Some CDs. There's a nice frame right here I want to get. Yeah, nice frame. Here, Lulu. Yeah, definitely grab that photo album. We can take those pictures out. Things people throw away. Hopefully they got all of them onto, um, scanned onto discs or something. Oh, look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Lulu, look at this phone case. You cannot even, isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Even if we don't use it for a phone, I mean, we'll do something because it's freaking beautiful. What is that? Oh, that's just from candy. The things people throw away, but yeah, a whole bunch of like plaques and awards. I don't understand that. That is weird to me. I keep stuff like that forever, but everybody's different. They're all going to do their own thing. I just come and collect what I can, salvage what I'm able. recorder yeah that's awesome yeah we already have one but we can sell that one well, and that other bag is yucky but we'll check this other one that I grabbed it might have something oh it does but they mixed in all the gross stuff with it darn it that's frustrating because it's a nice little makeup bag but it's in with the nasty stuff and I don't want to stink up the car too much. We're going to take this trophy too. I mean, it's got a name and everything on it, but we're going to craft it. We're totally using that. We'll take all this out of here. We'll take all their family pictures out of there. Nice little metal. We'll take that plaque. We can craft with it. Nice big dad gift bag whole bunch of medals. Why would you throw those out? I don't understand. I just don't, I don't get it. Oh, look how cute that is. We're going to put that on a magnet. Nice little flashlight, that voice recorder. I think we'll take this ribbon. The rest of it's a little, a little too smushed up for us, but, uh, leave this bag Lulu it's a little too smushed up but we'll take the ribbon and the bubble envelope that's it all right let's go ahead and throw that back in grab this bag anyone actually use these bags they're just not terribly comfortable you know I don't I don't prefer them myself and I have other options Oh, I think that's going to do it, guys. I think so for our uh, student, college student housing stuff. Because we're about out of room. I mean, we could pile stuff on top, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we have found some goodies. Saved some things that 
did not need to go to the landfill. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today, Frugal Friends, on this fun adventure in the college student housing bins. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. You don't want to miss all of the frugal living and dumpster diving related adventures that we've got coming up next. Thanks for being a part of our journey. Have a wonderful day.